Welcome to this Power BI report presentation by Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to focus in on a report for a FMCG company, the sales of an FMCG company. This could be for any company that sells a fast moving consumer good. In this particular instance, we've set up this report based on a company that sells chocolate or, or related sweet products. The report's broken up into four different parts. This first part is a summary page of all your key metrics and all your key filters and slices. Then we have more on products, uh, just drilling into which products are selling. And then following on from that, we've got customers. Who are your key customers? Who are you selling to? How much have they bought recently? And then lastly, we have a bit more on sales orders, enabling you to get down to the granular level of each order so you could actually check if which clients have bought what in the last three months for instance or uh, which products are selling and and where are they selling most to uh, you can actually in that instance look at each individual order in, in a table which I'll show in a moment so this first page we've got uh, the most key metrics that you'd want to see almost on a daily basis uh, you've got your completed sales your units you're selling unique orders, etc, etc. And here we've got something quite neat. We've got what I've done in the data model and behind the scenes is I've enabled, I've built it so you can actually filter in this model your top 80% of sales for either products or customers. Because what you'll find with a lot of businesses is that that's where the bulk of your sales uh, will come from. You, you might be selling 30 different products, but 10% of your products is actually going to make up 80% of your sales. So it's a really good way to focus in on what is actually driving the business's sales and therefore profitability, what should be focused on the most. So here you can drill into say which channel is key uh, or which channel is, is, is selling the most product. In this case, we've got 2016 filtered and then we can just click around uh, our channel chart here. We can also focus in on any time frame we want here and we see that the, day, the days update and then also we can see how, how through time our sales have tracked so we can actually see okay each each different day where are we actually making our sales and say we want to see the latest uh, piece of data we can actually click on this last day and see okay this is what we actually did yesterday and we had this much through the club this much through distributor these are uh, from which warehouse they came out of so this is your really your key dashboard, something that you could look at whenever um, to keep a really good track of what's actually going on in the business. Next page, we, we jump into uh, more detail about products. So through time, how many units are we selling of each product? Over here, we have a summary of uh, total sales per product. And then we have some line charts saying average sales per day and average units sold per day. And this is a summary of our warehouse. Now, as mentioned before, this in this data model, you can actually filter in on your top products, your key products, which make up 80% of your sales. So if I take this off, you're going to see a whole lot more products come in. And now that's going to be all our products. And then in this case, um, it's going to just drill into the key products that make up 80% of our sales. So these, these are the key products you should therefore probably market the most. Uh, and you know, chocolate truffle here obviously makes up a huge amount of sales compared to the rest of the business. So you know this is this is a really quick way to identify uh, what is and are the key products. And you can see how this changes over time as well by clicking into a particular month set and then everything um, within the data model updates uh, and behind the scenes so we can click here we can filter on the first six months of 2016 and you see here we might want to look at okay what's happening in the wholesale and we can see how we're tracking through time and then which products are selling well through that um, through that channel for that particular month so we can look in say we want to just just drill into one particular month we can see how how that actually changes and remember at all times we're looking at the top 80 percent so you could really start to identify key trends and um, the key products that you're selling. Next, we've got customers. Again, you can you can filter here on your key customers. Who are the key people that you are selling to? And we got here 
which channel are these customers buying through, what are the units we're selling, uh, what products are they buying. Here we have a bit more detail about the orders that the customer is making and you know, a bit more detail down here. But similarly, you can click through and you can uh, drill into which of these clients through which channel in this case, um, what are they actually buying through time. And remember, this is always filtered on the key products or the key customers. Sorry, we're only looking at the key customers here. We could go uh, bottom customers and say, you know, what are they actually doing? Um, but you know, generally, you want to actually focus on your top guys. And so um, you know, that, that, that's what this enables you to do. That's what that functionality, that segmenting of the top clients enables you to do. Finally, we've got sales orders. And here is just a really quick way to look at the each individual order. We can click into a customer name, customer product, or region, or channel, and we can quickly see for whatever time frame we have filtered the last three months here in this case, what our most recent orders are. Okay, thanks.